What time is it? What time is it? What time is it? What, 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 what time is it? Wicked, 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 what time is it? Time. The indefinite continued progress of existence and events in the past, the present, and the freaking, freaking future. Who's time to you? Don't, don't respect You either have too much on your hands, you're racing against it, or you're just flat out. I assure you, I am all of those things. Have you ever had one of those experiences where your life flashed before your eyes and it made you question everything? That, that just happened to me. Let me explain. It all started this morning in a waiting room. Well, you're late. <laughs> I know I'm late, but at least I'm here. I see you've missed your last three appointments. <sighs> True. Well, the first time, so my schedule's busy, you see. The only time to get my toes done was a quarter to three. Was getting picked up, hot date, 7 p.m. My toes were chipped up, not great, had to get in. The second time? The second time wasn't for me. I was running out the door, then got a text from Eileen. She was frantic, going through a crisis, you know. I couldn't leave my girl hanging when she's feeling that low. And the third time? I hear you, don't want to get into it. It slipped my mind, I forgot and slept right through it. But hey, I'm here now, no need to dwell on the past. Let's get the show on the road. Sure, we'll get it done fast. The nurse will be right with you. Time is on my side. Yes, it is. How big is this thing? Can I get a small? It's like a frickin' moo moo. Hmm. I'm just glad this hospital gown doesn't open in the back. <laughs> Let me take a selfie. Ah, humans. So concerned with the popularity of their life broadcasts, they lose touch with the treasure that speeds by fast. Filter. Ooh, Valencia. They got it so backwards. Why are they so concerned with the wrong things? Death's knocking on their door and they're ignoring the ring. Ding dong. They've got it so backwards. She's worried about, is a gown open in the back? Meanwhile, people living in shacks drinking brown water from the tap. She's got it so backwards. She's about to get an injection. Wait, an injection? She hates needles. <sighs> I hate needles. This is much more serious than a selfie. This just got real, real quick. The next thing I know, I'm being ushered to this cold room with this huge white round machine in front of me, with this tiny little cylinder running through the middle of it. Hold it for a second. I'm supposed to fit in that thing? I mean, I haven't been to the gym in a while, but Ariana Grande would have trouble fitting into that. I'm just gonna keep my cool and listen to what this nurse has to say because there's got to be something I'm missing. Oh, it's tight. OK. Breathe in. All right, here we go. Hold your breath, please. <gasps> Have you ever really listened to the sounds of an MRI machine? It's loud. Pulsing. 
I wonder what this machine is really doing to my body. I mean, at least it's got a beat to it. Maybe something I can get down to. Kind of takes me back. Like I'm a fresh kid in the 80s, going to a dope party. Like the machine is taking over my body, and I'm popping and locking. It's also boring. <sighs> Maybe I should just try and go to sleep. Yeah, you know, count the beats like sheep. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm 12 years old and I'm at the National Spelling Bee in Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm, that's right, and I'm not even nerdy, just smart. But here I am, surrounded by 49 of the nerdiest kids I've ever seen in my entire life. I got my brand new dress, matching choker, and I'm feeling confident. Well, actually, I kind of don't feel good. Between you and me, when I woke up this morning, my stomach hurts bad. I'm really hot and kind of dizzy, but I'm shaking it off and I'm gonna win this thing. I already got my first word right, newscaster. I mean, come on, newscaster, give me something challenging. time to get back to me. I really don't feel good. I wonder if anyone can tell. <sighs> Keep it together, Katie. These kids are dropping like flies, and it's almost your turn again. Okay, here we go. Can you repeat the word, please? Can you use the word in a sentence, please? What is the root of the word? Can you use it in a sentence, please? Oh. Okay. Claustrophobia. C L A S T E R P H O B I A. Claustrophobia. Next thing I know, I'm being rushed to the hospital, prepped for surgery. Appendicitis, surgery. But I'm only 12. How does a 12 year old get appendicitis? Do they do something to deserve this? Count backwards. Okay. 99, 98, 96. I mean, I'm scared. What if I don't wake up? 95, 94, 93, 92. Back in the day when I was young, I'm not a kid anymore. But some days I sit and wish I was a kid again. Damn, talk about taking you back. Do you remember when you were a kid? The world was a new adventure. You were full of life and nothing could stop you. I'm all the way up. But when you're young, time, time is only as far as you can see it. And she, <laughs> well, she couldn't see past the weekend. She couldn't see that at some point, 
she was going to wish her parents were there to boss her around some more. Sometimes we look into the past with regret or into the future with fear. And sometimes we close our eyes to avoid seeing what's right in front of us. She wished she could go back. Back in the day when I was young, I'm not a kid anymore. Some days I sit and wish I was a kid again. My mother used to sing me that song. She said the lyrics came from God, divinely inspired just for me. I sing it when I'm scared, when I'm nervous, when I want to remember her. I imagine singing it to my own daughter someday. If I have a daughter. Mom, always so full of life. Songs sprung from her lips, love leapt from her chest. Joy should have been her middle name. She taught me how to fish, and not just in water, to smell roses while using a hedge of protection, to love unconditionally even when it hurt. Life changed. Her body failed her even as her kind hearted spirit fought on. Sometimes I just couldn't watch. It was easier just to close my eyes. MRI days were the worst. Was the scan clean? Did it come back? Seems like it was always bad news. And now, here I am, stuck in the same machine. Thank you. 